So what I'm going to introduce here is a bull bull strategy developed using call options. And we have two call options. A long call with a low exercise and a short call. Short call means selling, long means buying to buying position. And a short call option with a higher exercise. And uh, what we might consider here is if we want to take advantage of the value of an asset increasing price. So the value of some underlying or some asset, some stock or commodity, we expect increases in price. What kind of strategy could we devise to take advantage of an increasing magnitude uh, in the value of the underlying? And obviously, uh, you, you could go long. You could always go long the underlying. So if you thought oil price was going to rise, you could buy oil. Um, but another strategy, probably cheaper, um, and allows you to take, into, take advantage of leverage, would be to use call options or a combination of calls. So here we're using a bold strategy developed using call options. And uh, we could think of the overall combination of the long call and short call as giving us this type of payoff, combined payoff. We could think of this intersection here with this axis and this axis at the point zero, and that they, as the stock or the commodity price or oil price as it increases, the overall combination here, the portfolio of the two options, increases in value as the underlying goes up. And you can see this is a, a floor value below which losses cannot be exceeded. But there's also a symmetry in terms of as the value of the underlying increases beyond the higher exercise, there's a plateau or a ceiling here where gains are not uh, accorded on a kind of pro-rata pro basis. So uh, the, the, the strategy can be desired, it can be nice in the sense that uh, losses are contained. You sacrifice some gain. Also, the cost of setting up the strategy is mitigated in terms of what you pay, the premium that you pay for buying the option is mitigated by collecting some premium on the option that you sell. What you pay exceeds what you receive in terms of selling the option because the right to buy at a low price, keeping in mind the call option is the right to buy at a fixed price in the future, the right to buy at a low price has got to be better than the right to buy at a higher price. The right to buy at 50 is better than the right to buy at 100. So can we mimic this type of structure using Excel and also do estimate premium in a kind of consistent fashion. And for that, I'm going to use Black Shoals and set it all out as a graph in Excel. So first thing I might do here is just set out, uh, represent maybe a set of stock prices. And we go from 0 to 10, 0 to 0, 250, 160. Okay, so we go 0, 10, 20, and we'll use Excel and we'll just pull that along. And then we say, okay, we want to get the intrinsic value of the option. So if uh, what's the intrinsic value of the option? And we go, we would say, okay, equal to maximum, the option after all, the intrinsic value of the option is the S minus the exercise. Okay, so I've got to, to give some kind of exercise price. Let's go with 80. Or, okay, 80. And zero. And we pulled that down. So we could 
extend this one here and bring this down another as well and get um change that to 180 and then if we map this out so we could take both of these columns of underlying values and intrinsic value for the option insert and go to scatter and take this and it's relatively clear here we have the outline of a call option where the exercise where the exercise is uh, at 90 so this should be 170 and this is 180 okay so that's that's an intrinsic value of the option but really what we want to create is this where we incorporate into premium and we also want to illustrate the short position so in this instance here we have uh, a long call option and we might make the exercise explicit i mean it's here it is made it is 80 so we could say okay 80 and reference the value here uh, back to the cell reference for c3 and if i hit f4 i dollarize both the c and the tree so it's fixed as i drag down this column nothing changes but in fact something has changed each reference is back to 80. So as I change this to 50, you can see my graph is dynamic. And if you want to consider an exercise of 100, uh, we see the outline of the graph. Again, we don't see what's happening to the premium. Make the premium more explicit could use black shoals so um, you can uh, I have black shoals set up in the next page <clears throat> next worksheet and uh, I've just given values again the kind of typical values of an option so it's black shoals and with parameter inputs stock price, exercise, risk rate, dividend yield, volatility of the return of the underlying and the time to maturity. And then I call up a function, Black Shows function, which is in set out here in the module. And it's just an, a DBA implementation of Black Shows. Okay, so we have this premium. Um, and uh, I could implement again. So if I took this set of values and set it here and paste, and uh, maybe we'll insert. Okay, and instead of using Again, I could change the cell reference to C. So instead of having C3 as the exercise, I could go to the Black Shoals parameter inputs and set the exercise equal to C7. And hold that down. Right, and so again, Nothing changes here, but if I change this to 80 or to 50, everything else now is sensitive. So the exercise, the graph is sensitive to the parameters here. And we can take out, we could delete and shift cells up. And again, where the cell reference is C4. Okay, so that's that's fine. 
Okay, now before we said, um, but how do we make, we want to replicate this, at least initially this payoff here. So how, how might we try that? And then um, to set that out, uh, what we could do is, uh, okay, we could, Could make a little bit of space here we could say okay let's take this graph again and if we want to augment the graph to take into account the premium we could say okay let's take the intrinsic value and subtract away the black shoals value the black shoals value in a sense is the premium Okay, so it's, um, let's try that. Pull it down. So we can see that uh, the option, it's, if we take account of the option and adjust for the premium, so we take the intrinsic value and adjust for the premium, um it will be more consistent with this type of payoff so let's try that let's go back let's select data and we want to add in uh okay so we'll edit the first so we'll just say for the first one it's intrinsic and then we want to add a new series so we'll say c i'll call it c1 uh, and with premium and the X range here is given by the underlying and the Y series is the payoff from the option where the premium is also taken into account and you can see now we have the long call and the pre premium is added in but if we go back to the original bull strategy, we know that the bull strategy, this portfolio, is made up of two options, a long call and a short put. So we should have another option. Not a, sorry, not a short put, a short call, a long call and a short call with a higher exercise. So let's say, We'll call this C1. And now do the same again, but for C2. So I'll have an intrinsic, perhaps, C2. Intrinsic. And we'll keep this consistent over here. C1. and it's equal to now we need a second exercise price so perhaps we'll take a range of values again and we make make the second exercise price higher we'll make it 100. okay so the second would be s s maximum s minus x f4 comma zero close brackets return drag it down subtract away the premium minus equal the intrinsic value minus the premium So we have to F4, and we pull this down, and we'll call this C2 premium, and both are long positions, long and long. 